Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about immigration in the USA. I'm going to be talking about these five topics in particular. Uh, we're going to talk about the Trump administration and how it's affecting immigration policies. I'm going to talk about fiancé visas, K-1s, green cards, also called adjustment of status, tourist visas, B1, B2, and work visas. I'm going to be talking about these uh, topics in, uh, in particular. I'm going to be giving uh, information about what they are and how the Trump administration and all the news that have been going on over the internet have been affecting all this immigration uh, processes. So uh, stick to the video and obviously all this, I'm not an expert I'm doing this. I did this presentation based on the research I did um, part of many forums over the internet that have to deal with immigration. So. I'm also have been, have been contacted by many, many couples over the internet telling me about their cases. As you know, my channel keeps growing. We have over 200,000 views. So a lot of couples have been contacting me about their immigration processes and all the problems that they face. So I hope with this video, you can get a better idea what the changes have been happening over the uh, past couple months. and. If you find this video useful, please give it a like, subscribe, because it really helps the channel grow and it helps other people find this content. So now that that's out of the way, let's start with the Trump administration. So what is happening with Trump? What changes is he doing? Is it affecting these types of visas in particular? And the, an the short answer for this is yes. He's effect the, the main reason he's affecting this is because he's all over the news. People are getting scared and because... People are getting scared. There has been an increase in demand of the people applying for all these types of visas, including the green cards. So because of the increased demand that has been going on because of the Trump administration, all the immigration processes have started to take longer time to process. So the U.S. government can't keep up with all the petitions that are going on and it's slowing down the process. So definitely keep that in mind. I'm going to be talking about each topic in particular. So. Trump has been affecting this, unfortunately, so I hope that this gets fixed or the process speeds up after uh, in the next couple of months. So uh, we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted, but let's start with the first uh, with the second topic that are the K-1 visas. So what's a K-1 fiancé visa? The K-1 fiancé visa is for basically for uh, American citizens that want to get married to a foreign citizen. From a citizen from any other country that's not the United States, they can apply for this uh, visa called the K-1 visa and they can get married in the U.S. So how is the immigration uh, policies or the processing times have been affected because of the Trump administration? So basically, like I said, because of the increased demand, the, the processing times are longer. The USCIS, which is the government agency that processes these types of applications, has been having a lot of work. And therefore, the, the time that they use to process or approve these petitions is taking longer. So um, the first thing you need to do for a K-1 fiancé visa is apply. You have to uh, file a petition. And that petition, in order, uh, it used to take around three, four, five months to get approved. And now it's taking over seven to eight months just to get approved. So keep that in mind. And then after getting approved, your foreign fiance can come to the United States. But uh, because of the Trump administration, employment authorization and adjustment of status, which is the green card, are, are also taking longer. Employment authorization used to take around three months to get processed. Now it's taking five, if not more. If you commit mistakes in your, uh, if you make mistakes in your application, it's going to take even longer. So. Same with the adjustment of status. I believe it's taking, it depends on what office you're filing from, but it's taking around uh, eight months to over a year or many years, depending on your specific case. So the, pro the process is definitely uh, long, so you just got to be patient. So that's what has been going on with the K-1 fiancé visas. Like I said, many couples have been contacting me, being impatient about their visas. They think they're not getting their visas approved. So... My advice to everyone is just to be patient, and as long as you file the petition in the correct way, uh, you should be getting your petition uh, sometime soon. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them down below, okay? Now we're going to move to the next topic, which are the green cards or the adjustment of statuses. So same uh, thing, the fiancé visa moves to... Uh, 
after that you apply for a green card and then these ones are taking uh, a longer time as well so all the variables that affect your green card processing times are the filing location it depends from what state you're filing uh, we've uh, I've seen and uh, people on the forum that I've been in contact with have seen that all the the filing location does affect the the amount of time it takes for you to uh, for them to process your green card uh, also the country for where you're from affects uh, the timing and the type of uh, visa or the type of way you apply for your green card so you can get a green card with a fiance visa or you can get a, a family petition and then get a green card too so all these types of things affect the green card too but basically uh, long story short they are taking a longer time to uh, years uh, for many people. I know that some countries like India just take uh, forever to get processed. So uh, you got to be calm with that, uh, with that immigration process as well. So next topic, we're going to talk about the tourist visa. So these ones have been the most unaffected. And many people on the channel have asked me, how do I apply for a tourist visa? So basically the... The way of applying is you have to go to the U.S. Embassy and you have to prove to the U.S. officer that you have the enough amount of income to visit the United States and to pay for your expenses and you have to prove that you have a reason to go back to your country. They don't want people that are staying in the United States uh, as an illegal immigrant. So as long as you can prove that you have enough income and that you have a reason to go back, this could be that you're studying university back home or that you have a steady job back home or you have kids or a family then they will approve your visa. And also you have to have no problems with the law. As long as you have these three uh, requirements checked, I don't think you're gonna have a problem. Again, the Trump administration has not been affecting these types of visas as much. So if you're thinking of applying, uh, I would recommend not to worry and just uh, make sure to keep uh, yourself updated with all the information on the USCIS website and the US government websites regarding these types of visas. So uh, that's it for the tourist visa. And then finally, we're gonna close with the work visas. Many people have asked me about this type of visas too, also called the H-1Bs. They're asking me, oh, if I can apply for a tourist visa, can I apply for a work visa? And I say, yeah, you can do it, but you have to keep in mind that there has been an increase in demand as well for these type of visas. And that there's a limited number per year of visas that the, go the U.S. government uh, allows. So there are a lot of high, high, highly qualified people that are applying for these types of visas. So it's definitely hard to get a job and to apply for a, a work visa. So keep that in mind. Also, if you do get approved, it's going to take some time. I do recommend hiring a lawyer for this process and then the another issue with this type of visa is that it's hard to switch jobs let's say you come to the u.s and then you don't like the type of job that you're doing it's hard to move to a different job so um definitely something to keep in mind and another issue that happens with this visa is that you need to renew it after a couple of years so um you can do it uh again same as a tourist visa or the k1 visa as long as you keep yourself informed in the USCIS website about all the changes in immigration policies, then I think you're going to be fine. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, again, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you can. And thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to keep making videos. Uh, also, feel free to send me an email and uh, Talk to me about your case. Maybe I can help and we can uh, we can help you uh, get your visa approved faster. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll keep posting more videos soon. Uh, thank you.